What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode number 232 and today guys we do have the Barclays Premier League final day and of course we can win the title with a win. I'll run you through the scenario before we get into the game anyway but uh, the first thing you'll see is that uh, we are going to be releasing one of our youth players. Uh, we ended up releasing I think it was actually was it Hmm, I'm not sure who it was we released. I think it might have been Burge. Um, yeah, I think we released Ryan Burge. But we released one of our players from the senior side so we could promote one of our youth players. Now, the reason we did this is because Burge hasn't developed this season and he's only 65 overall. And Leon Symington is one of the very few players in my academy that I actually believe has a real future if we play him enough. So we go ahead and release Burge. He's played a couple of games this season. He's been all right, but 65 overall and not growing. Well, he's not really going to get into our side in the immediate future. So we offer a Symington uh, contract, so he does look better, and hopefully he will join our club next season. But uh, here's a look at the league table as well as we go into the Premier League final day. Uh, 37 games played, uh, 82 points for Millwall, 81 points for Spurs, which means that if we win our final game against Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium, we'll be crowned champions regardless of what Spurs do. Um, if we draw, Spurs need to win. If we lose, Spurs can win the title by drawing against Arsenal, but we'll have to lose by, I think it was nine goals. So, yeah, there's, at the end of the day, you know, basically Spurs need to win, you know, it's, and if Spurs win, we need to win. So it's as simple as that, really. Both teams, you know, we can get away with losing or drawing, but Spurs need to win. And if Spurs win, then we need to win. It's as simple as that, really. But uh, even so, uh, I did pick my strongest first 11 and bench as well. Although I did actually take Danny Ings off the bench to bring on a certain Michael and Goo. Because just in case, just in case, we all remember what happened last season on the final day. Just in case we need the hero to step in, Michael and Goo needs to take a seat on the bench. But uh, anyway, we do take on Manchester City for the final day. And I did have goal updates on for, um, for Arsenal versus Spurs. But, you know, to be honest, I've talked about this before. Goal updates on career mode, they're about as useful as a chocolate teapot. They barely ever come in. And when they do, they're either incorrect or, you know, too late for you to do anything about it, really. But uh, we did get the game underway. And the game plan for me really was score an early goal and settle the nerves. So in the third minute, when Oscar Polo went one on one, I rounded Jack Butland. I chipped it into the empty net and I scored an early goal and I settled the early nerve. So the game plan really was as simple as that. Get yourself an early goal and let's just take the pressure off completely. And that's exactly what we did. The fans can celebrate because we're 1-0 up just 3 minutes and 32 seconds in and I can't see this final day being anywhere near as dramatic than the one uh, uh, compared to the one we had last year because it is a great little solo run and finish by Oscar Polo. We're 1-0 up early on and the £30 million man looks as though he's already repaid that there with that one goal alone so Polo does give us the opening goal here and to be honest it was just the perfect goal because the champagne you know it was on ice but really right now we could think about drinking it by half time because we're 1-0 up and you know at the end of the day City on career mode they're not really a good side at all you can tell by the lineup they're nowhere near as strong as they should be to be honest and with us being 1-0 up I mean you couldn't really see us slipping up to be honest and of course Spurs would need to win as well so there was a lot of ifs and buts if Spurs were going to win the title now and uh, we really were in the driving seat and in the 12th minute here Luke Shaw finds Oxlade-Chamberlain Chamberlain rolls it through towards Scott Triggs Triggsy boy gives it to Oxlade-Chamberlain down the left hand side a very good chance here as he stops the ball with the scoop turn gets onto his right foot and strikes it but unfortunately the finesse shot went wide of the post and out for a goal kick but the only pressure was being on Manchester City caused by us however in the 16th minute they did have a good chance to equalise here as a good on the left hand side I jockey with Carrasco but I can't prevent the cross it's crossed into the far post and Adam Drury hits the post so City giving us a warning sign there. Jury, who spent a loan, uh, one year on loan of us in the second or third season, hits the post there and almost makes it one apiece. But even so, he did hit the post. And in the 21st minute, we could have made it 2-0 here. Kelvin goes forward, but I put the shot wide and out for a goal kick. So still 1-0. But to be honest, other than the Adam Jury chance, which he hit the post, all the chances came to us. In the 31st minute, Suzo gets played forward here. Chips it over the top towards Kelvin. Kelvin with the fake shot and the finesse, but it clips the top of the bar. 
bar and goes out for a goal kick. So still City nil, Millwall won. But again, other than the jury chance, I'll reiterate it. All the pressure was on City caused by us. And from the goal kick, Butler and clears the ball forward and Glenn Robertson wins the header. Oscar Polo with a great uh, chest to take it around his man. And a scoop turn. Wonderful couple of touches by Oscar Polo, but the shot is well saved by Jack Butland. And turn behind for a corner. So still City nil, Millwall won. And in the 38th minute, Luke Shaw collects the ball here. Uh, sprints through the centre and gives it to Oxlade Chamberlain. Chamberlain goes down the left-hand side and gets onto his right foot. It's a really good chance here, but I took the shot on really early like an idiot. And Butland had quite a simple save, to be honest. But uh, from the corner, it's Brian Carrasco who stands over it and takes it. He ends up swinging it across eventually, 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 eventually into the box. Eric Deer goes for the header, but unfortunately Butler makes a really good save and we can't, can't send it in the far post. So still 1-0 as things stood. And just before half time, the last chance would fall again to uh, Millwall. Glenn Robinson gets on board and finds the goal scorer Polo. Quick little scoop turn into fake Rabona by the Colombian. He keeps on going, he keeps on going. Then a nice little step over. Gets onto his left foot, rolls it through towards Suzo. Good save by Butler, but who does it fall to? Oxlade Chamberlain. And the Ox on the stroke of half time makes it Manchester City nil, Millwall. To. And so if we're going to lose this title, City need to score two goals in the second half, which they didn't look like doing. And of course, Spurs would need to get a move on as well, because at half time, they were drawing. It was Arsenal 1, Spurs 1. So even, you know, even a draw in this game and even a loss by, you know, no fewer than nine goals, uh, sorry, no more than nine goals, would still see us win the title. So Spurs have had a bit of a collapse in the final few games, and that's great for us, it really is. But um, it's just, you know, it, it really is good to know we've kept our composure late on, and uh, it was showing in this game. We were 2 0 up, and other than Liani making a good save here, and. Um, Adam Jury hitting the post in the first half. City weren't really threatening, and Guidetti did strike the ball there. We went out for a goal kick, but really, all the chances were still coming to us, and that was the thing. At 2-0 up, we were still the side looking for more goals. You know, any other team you would have thought would have just sat back and said, hey, we're 2-0 up, we're going to win the title. Let's just make sure we see out the result and don't, you know, lose it by chasing it, basically. And, uh, you know, giving Spurs a chance to come for, uh, come from the draw and win the title. You know, no, no, we wanted to score more goals. And in the 86th minute, McCola goes on a run down the right inside, beats Scribe, keeps on going, it drills in across, picks out Scott Triggs, Triggs finds Carrasco, but unfortunately... His shot is well saved by Butland, and uh, eventually, if the ball goes to Robinson here, I play the ball to McCola, who's offside. But it was still 2-0. The game was being closed out, and as you can see here, as the final whistle goes, it is confirmed. Manchester City 0, Millwall 2. We are the champions of the Barclays Premier League for a second year running, and yeah, there was no final day nerves. Just like, you know, last year, it was the most dramatic of final days. No one's going to forget that. But this year, you know, to be honest, after Spurs Flipping up a few games, we just blasted past them and knew that if we won our final three games, we'd win the title. We did win all three games. We have won the title. It's as simple as that. So we win the Barclays Premier League. And you also might have seen as well, I did decide to make Brian Carrasco just for this game. Guterres is the club captain, if you will. But Brian Carrasco, the vice captain, well, I just wanted to see him win the, uh, lift the Premier League title. I think we've all wanted that, haven't we, since the, the first episode when we first signed Brian Carrasco. I did say in the episode, I said something like, like, this guy, you know, he could be a decent player for us and could stay for the series. Well, it turns out I was right because Carrasco has stayed for the series. He's been the cult hero and he finally gets to lift the Barclays Premier League title with Millwall. The dream has been achieved. Carrasco lifts the Barclays Premier League title. That's our second in two seasons. And yeah, what a fantastic campaign it's been. And of course, we could still make this campaign not only a fantastic one, but a monumental one. We could still win the Champions League. Um, at the end of the season and you know complete four trophies in one season that would be the Community Shield, the Capital One Cup, the Premier League and the Champions League so we could make this an incredible season if we win the Champions League but no matter what happens it's still been a great season regardless we have retained our Premier League trophy we've retained our Capital One Cup and we've got a great chance to win the Champions League as well in our debut season what a fantastic season that will be as you can see Arsenal actually beat Spurs by two goals to one they really did have a collapse didn't they and as you can see 
see by the league table. Uh, four points was the gap come the end of the season. So we could have lost that game 58,000 goals to nil, if that's even humanely possible. And we still would have won the title. So, yeah, we win the Barclays Premier League. I'm absolutely delighted. And, um, yeah, I'm really pleased that we've managed to retain it. So there's the final league table. Here's a look at the player stats as well. Uh, the player charts, if you will. Um, top scorers, uh, funny enough, no one really did well for us. But that's, of course, because we did change strikers halfway through the season. Ezekiel and Oxlade Chamberlain got on there with nine goals each, but uh, Oscar Polo didn't even get his name on the score sheet after arriving in January. Uh, sorry, uh, on the chart after arriving in January. Uh, nice to see Carrasco top the assist chart and Liali top the clean sheet chart. But uh, yeah, the only uh, important thing was we did manage to win the league title as Liali and Shaw also made it into the team of the season. Uh, Leon Simonton comes into our club and that's really good news for us. And yeah, we did win the Barclays Premier League title. I'm very, very pleased. And as always, guys, a big thank you for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed the episode, please leave a like because it's much appreciated and it really does help my channel out. And I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode very soon, which will, of course, be the live commentary of the Champions League final against Real Madrid.